You got Mac and Mac here with you on Birds 365. I'm going to get the ESPN Power Index in a second. But first, on the question I asked Marcus Hayes, uh, I'll spin off it and ask John McMullen this. NFL intra-conference. It's intra, right? You're a writer. You know these things. If you're going between one and another, it's intra. If it's within your own conference, it's inter, right? No, in, inter is out, intra, intra right. is that's, in. That's why I asked you, because I knew I'd screw it up. Uh, so there have been six inter-conference games so far between the AF, a- a- AFC and the NFC. What do you think the record is? Six and oh? No, but you're close. Five and one? Five and one, and you should know who the one is. Who's the one? Um, what's the name of this show? Birds three sixty five. Yeah, but the Eagles won. The Eagles right, beat they're the wins. only NFC team to win. Oh, I the thought AFC it was the opposite. is five and one. I see. Really, five and one in the six in truck. I assume, game. yeah, I assume because everybody was two and zero oh in the NFC, but they're all playing each other. Yeah, um, yeah, the AFC is still better. I think that's going to unveil itself as the season goes on. Uh, to put it mildly, um, you know, Kansas City's a good team. They lost. Uh, Buffalo's a good team. They lost. Um, you know, those, you know, Baltimore's pretty good team. They're, they're undefeated though. Right. Miami looks good. Um, they're John, two and oh, John, I have to apologize. I was wrong. It's not five and one. It is six and oh, the NFC has won every single Yeah, game. I thought, I thought, yeah. Cowboys yeah. beat the jets. Yeah. The commanders beat the, the Broncos, uh, the Sam Howell game. Um, the Lions beat the Chiefs opening night. The 49ers beat the Steelers. The Saints beat the Titans. And the Eagles beat the Patriots. I was thinking the Patriots won. Well, oh, just, won you know, we know why the Lions won opening night. What was that second game? Give me that second game. That, second uh, game was Commanders beat the Raiders. Yeah, that was uh, that was a hokey game. Uh, so right there, there's two. Um, you say, eh, it's not that 49ers big. over the Saints. Uh, 49ers give me over the Steelers, Saints beat the Titans and Eagles and Patriots. The yeah. NFC, which we said dominating. all season, dominating, just not as good as the NFC. The AFC just so much better. Six and zero oh, out of the gate. The NFC in the in yeah. conference game. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. You're going to do the football power index. I'm going to do who, who pro football focus says are the best teams. Um. Yeah, I kind of trust them above the power football, football power index. index. All right, of the top ten teams, you have let's see, two to two, three to three, four to three, five to three, five to four, five five, five to five. Out of the top yeah. ten, yeah. Uh, even though uh, on the field, just in the games between the two conferences, it's been lopsided to the NFC. All right, I the NFL football power index for those who. Didn't see us debating this last year and screaming and yelling about it. Um, any media outlet worth its salt has its own power ratings. Johnny Sports Illustrated, CBS, ESPN, NBC, anybody who does any kind of uh, significant NFL talk, writing, uh, television, you got to have a power. You have that have yeah. power ratings. It's and they're all different. meaningless, by the way. They but are. Yes, we all have them. Absolutely meaningless, but yeah. yet everybody, everybody does them. And ESPN has their own power ratings where they poll their best football insiders. I don't know. That, yeah. Do you know how they do it? I don't know how. I thought it was more of an analytical thing. No, no. But I don't they know. Have, ESPN has two different power ratings. Oh. They have their quote unquote power ratings, which is a compilation of a bunch of guys that cover the NFL for them and they uh, take their votes and they add them all up. The, and they yeah, go from the, there. The, the, the FPI, though, is the analytics one. Correct. Right? The yeah. FPI is the football power index, which they say they put statistics into a computer and yeah. play game simulations. 10,000 times to justify how their statistics work. Well, 
Here is the new power index after week two of the National Football League. The number one team is the Dallas Cowboys. They are the top. They're always team. number one, but this time they should be number one. Here's, here's, but here's, here's where you're wrong, John. You know what number they were last week? They did it after the first week. They do it every week. They have the rank after one, and then it changes every single week. You know what number the Cowboys were last week? Um, I do not. They were 10th. 10th? Because they beat up on Zach Wilson, the Cowboys jumped from number 10 to number one. They were is that is that more disrespect to Daniel Jones and the Giants than what, 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 how could they be number ten? They were the they most were impressive 10 last team. week, and they jumped to yeah, number one. I, I don't get this. Thing. Here's another one you're not going to get. Number two is the Buffalo Bills. No, Before the season on. started, the Buffalo Bills were number two. When they lost their opener to the Jets without Aaron Rodgers, they stayed at number two. And this week, they go out and win by 20-some-odd points, blow out the Raiders, and they're still number two. They haven't moved. They've been two all along, and for whatever reason, after they put all their stats into their computers, the Buffalo Bills are still number two. The Kansas City Chiefs were number one, dropped to number two off a win. They didn't drop off the uh, off losing the first game. They were number one to start. They stayed at number one. They win this week, and they drop down to number three. Again, how do they do this? It doesn't make any sense. The San Francisco 49ers were number uh, one, two, three, four. They were number five. They moved up one to number four. The Miami Dolphins were number six. They moved up to number five. The Baltimore Ravens were number eight. They moved up to number six. And coming down three slots from number four down to number seven after beating up the Minnesota Vikings, your Philadelphia Eagles went from they were number four, now down to number seven off a win against the I guess they didn't like DeAndre Swift's 175 yards, John. Because well, they dropped I'm, the I'm, three I'm, slots I'm, in the computer rankings. Now, to be fair, I have no idea. I'm I'm assuming it's stats related, and they gave up a ton of yardage, a ton of garbage time touchdowns. You know, it was what the, the game was. They were up twenty, and they only won by uh, six. Um, they gave up a lot of classic Kirk Cousins garbage time yards and they you know he threw for 364 and four touchdowns so you put that in the computer and this is why analytics sucks you put that in the computer and it just comes out oh they're giving up yardage again but you know you got to look at the context of games I can't get worried about stuff like that and after two weeks it's a small sample size so you see these you know, it will start to adjust itself as you go through. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Buffalo obviously starts at a higher spot. Kansas City starts at a higher spot. Like, they disrespected Miami, and my, Miami's been great through the first – do I think they're one of the two best teams? I think Dallas and Miami have looked the best. I'd probably put Dallas one, Miami two. Yeah, San Francisco's looked pretty good. Uh, San Francisco probably be three in my mind, um, but but Dallas Miami would be one too. I don't think Miami's going to be two. I think Dallas has a really good team, but I think Miami's played really well early. Do I think it's going to continue? Probably not. Uh, but if you're doing these goofy power rankings, the Eagles haven't been impressive. We talk all about style points, style points. They get no style points, but that doesn't matter. It's not. A bunch of idiots in a boardroom like college football, or I can get Kevin Kincaid to say who's the best team, and you got to get me uh, style points. Eagles haven't had any style points over the first two weeks, by and large. And do you know who the Eagles are just in front of at number? The Eagles are seven. Who is at number eight? The Los Angeles Chargers, who are oh, 0 yeah. 2. Talk about no style points. They don't have a win. Oh. And more important than style, they don't have style points. And they don't have a W. 
Yeah, but, but they got still a lot of numbers. On the reputation of Justin Herbert. They lose this week. They can be 0-3, and, and they give you all these numbers. Well, the good up. news is they're playing Minnesota, so they're probably going to win. But, uh, you know, those are both teams that put up big numbers and find ways to lose games. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. And oh, Somebody's got to win. One of them's going 0-3, and, and uh, they both made the playoffs last year. You go to 0-3, there's the whole only 10% of the teams that make it starting 0-2. You go in 0 and 3, that number drops precipitously thereafter, which means one of those two teams is probably dead in the water coming up this week. I am McMullen. I'm McDonald. We are Mac and Mac on Bird Street 65. We see that we have Kevin Kincaid already in the grain room, ready to rock and roll. He, of Crossing Broad, is going to jump on with us next here on Bird Street 65. Go to get your.